It served me. It served me really well. But again, kahit sira na siya, sinuserve niya pa rin ako. I cannot let go of the shoes. That's too easy. That's too easy. I need more. Ayo sumunod. Ayo sumunod literal. Sa main legs ko ayoko na. Ayoko na. Ayoko na. Ah. Like sa four straight days na ako sagad. Tapos kanina umaga. Nag-train pa ako. So yung legs ko sobrang sagad na sagad na siya. So sabi niya sa akin ayaw na niya daw sumunod. Eh kaso ako naman yung masusunod. Kaya susunod din siya.
Yun talaga, yun talaga. Minsan lang ako sumablay, kaya ako yun. That's it, that's it. Sabi ng legs ko, ayoko na, ayoko na. Kaya lang, kaya nasabi ko ako nung masusunod. So, rasyon nagawa ka, sumunod din siya. Hindi, na-enjoy ko lang yung training ko. Kasi pagod na pagod na ako, sobrang pagod na pagod na. Four days straight, sagad. Sa gising ako kayong umaga, nag-train ako. Woo! Long day for me. Alright, so, I'm done with my training. I just enjoyed my training kasi sobrang pagod na ako. So, Kailangan ng konting, of course, konting saya, konting smile with the mouse mentality shirt. Guys, for those who ask me, ano yung importance ng two balls? Lalo na yung mga nag-dead out, yung hindi daw kailangan yun. Guys, it's not a situational move. When you play, you don't have two balls in the game. But, when you train with two balls, it increases the difficulty. Difficulty specifically with the dribbling skill. So, if the difficulty level when you train is very high, what more if you have only one ball to control? So it's just it's just a simple one plus one logic. If you have two balls when you train, when you have one ball, it's gonna be easier for you. If you shoot two balls two consecutive at the same time with a quick pull up. When you're in the game and isa lang yung ball ang ipapasa yun na isushoot mo, it's gonna be way, way easier than shooting two balls at the same time. Guys, when you train, it's important to train the situational moves. It's important to train the actual moves that you do. But also, don't forget that when you train, it's limitless. I mean, you can do anything for your improvement. Hindi naman ibig sabihin situational moves lang yung gagawin mo kasi yun lang yung ginagawa sa game. You can actually do lots of movements, do lots of um, variations when you train because in an empty gym, you're all alone. There are no rules. You can actually apply anything. If you can dribble 10 balls at the same time, much better. Why? Because you are increasing the difficulty. So guys, don't uh, limit yourselves into doing something what you only do in the game. Because when you do that, hindi mako complete yung laro mo. Improvement will not be that fast, and merong mga merong mga kulang na hindi na hindi mako completeo. So just imagine, this these are your fingers. These are the situational moves, and the space the spaces in between my fingers are those two balls that will fill up those spaces para mas makompleto yung laro mo. So can you imagine that? Anyway, guys, only thing ko two ball. Is very important. Adding difficulty to your training is very, very important. So, wag niyo masadong limit yung sarili mo sa kung ano lang yung nakikita mo sa game. Kasi kapag ilang ginawa mo pagdating mo sa game, magtataka ka. Bakit may kulang? Kasi nga hindi ka nag-explore, hindi mo din discover kung ano pa yung mga pwede mo improve. Okay, nililimit mo yung sarili mo dun sa mga bagay niya. So, when you train, be limitless. Do anything that can help you. If you can do three balls, four balls, five balls, or anything that can help you, if you can put. Whatever obstacle or kait ano para mahirapan kesa when you train, it's gonna be it's gonna be better for you. So guys, again, I just enjoyed my training. This is supposed to be my rest day, pero I realized nte kaya ko eh. Yung legs ko ang sabi ng sa akin. Ayoko na, ayoko na. Ay kaso nga ako ngay master, ako yung masusunod. So wala, sumunod din sa. Anyway, I just enjoyed my training. That's just how I do it. Again, this is Coach Nav, and please subscribe on our YouTube channel. I'm here to create a big community there. Uh, to give you lots of advices and we can communicate there and I hope to, of course, lahat kayo kung pwede ko ma-meet soon, mas maganda. So again, this is Coach Mav. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell para ma-notify ka every time I post something new. Okay? God bless you all and I'll see you in my next video. Bakit ako pa? Ito yung promise ko, basang basa. Hanggang dito, sapatos, basa lahat. Ah, sarap, sarap. Pa boss na dito. Ha? Siyempre. Program ko pa. Coach! So, pa-condition kami kanina. Umaga. Ay, yun pa nga! Gulat ako. Oh, tuloy-tuloy na yun. Alas ano ka mga? Coach Pao! Alas na yun eh. Guys, Coach Pao. Yun yung pinakamagling na trainer ng Mavs. Pinakamalupit. Narausog. Pinakamalupit. So, pag nagpunta kayo sa Mavs, ito, hanapin nyo ito. 
Sinabi nyo ako. Ibang speed nito. Tataguha ko kayo. Ibang speed nito. Bibigyan tayo. Bye! 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 B